everyone. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I have been doing some Christmas shopping and I've got to think of something quick for supper tonight because then we have the Christmas parade. So, I think I've done a video on this before. There is nothing homemade about this. Absolutely nothing. But what I am going to do is um, I watched a, one of the YouTube channels I watch um, she did a comparison of all the store brand frozen pie crust, refrigerated pie, pie crust. So I'm not going to do that, but what I thought, I'm going to make a chicken pie. And this is my easy throw in a bowl, open cans, throw in the bowl, chicken pie. Like I said, nothing homemade about this chicken pie. But I'm going to make, I always make two. And I always make them out of the frozen pie crust that's already in the tin pans. So what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to make one, getting it out of the trash, one out of the um, refrigerator pie crust, which I love, I love, but I never make my chicken pies out of it. I always make my like fruit pies and stuff. Oh, so um, I'm going to make the chicken pie, make one of them out of the refrigerator pie crust. I'm going to make one of them out of the frozen pie crust and see which one we like better. But first, we got to get the um, chicken pie put together. Like I said, there is absolutely nothing homemade. Everything is out of a can or packet, including the chicken. Now, I know that sounds gross, and it's not my, it's not my best moment. I'm telling you, it's not my best moment. But when you're in a hurry and you're busy... You've got to be able to throw something together fast and quick that's still halfway good. So, please note, this is nothing homemade, but it is really good. And my kids and my husband love this chicken pie. Um, but it is not homemade. I'm not even boiling my own chicken. I'm getting chicken out of a can. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. So, let me um, get everything set up and... Um, I'll show you what you need. Okay, so here are the ingredients you're gonna need. And I'm just gonna leave my camera set up there. Um, you're gonna need a can of peas and carrots. And I actually have two small cans today, but it really only takes one large can. But Walmart was out of the large cans of peas and carrots. So I just got two small cans. So I will drain these and we will use the peas and carrots drained. You need two cans of cream of mushroom. Guess what? I'm out of cream of mushroom. I only had one left. So I'm doing one can of cream of mushroom, one can of cream of chicken. It doesn't matter. It'll be just as good. Probably, probably even better. You need two cans of your chicken breast. Uh, and I always get the white premium. I get mine at Audi. Um, so two cans of chicken breast drained. You're going to need two packets of the chicken gravy mix. Um, you're going to need some milk to mix this in and just a little bit of milk. You don't need a lot and you also need I put just a handful of Shredded cheese in mine just a little bit just to give it a little bit of richness and of course salt and pepper and um, Did I say milk? You're gonna need a little bit of milk and then Well, you're going to have to give me a little bit to find my pie crust, but I'll find it. I've got my refrigerated out. Even though it's refrigerated pie dough, I freeze it. So mine has been frozen, so I'm letting it sit out and thaw probably about 15 minutes. And, um, and then I'll be ready to go with it. And, uh, and I'll show you the difference between the two. We'll test them, see which one's better. Okay. Okay, so here's the other kind of pie crust I was talking about. It comes in a package of two. See, there's two in there. And um, and I always get the deep dish. So, let's just get this mixed together. And um, I'll give my pie crust a little bit of time to um, thaw. Okay, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. Oh, and I better get my bread pan out of there. That's no fun to stick your hand in there and get it. <laughs> get burnt. I 
Are y'all with me? I can't tell. Okay, I guess you're with me. So I've preheated my oven to 350. And I'm putting this canned chicken in here. Sometimes there is um, some, when you open them up, there's some fat that is up at the top. I just move that over. And I also take a fork and I break up the chicken a little bit. But yeah, I take that, that fat, if there's any big chunks of fat or skin, there's usually not, but sometimes you come across it. And I just remove it. And I just break it up with a fork a little bit. I don't get rid of every chunk, but a lot of them I do. Alright, so now I'm going to put my cream of, cream of soups, my cream of mushroom, and my cream of chicken. And I'm going to save these cans. Don't throw these cans away because I'm going to show you what we do. And you don't have to do this. I mean, I just do it to get every little bit of goodness out of there. I've got y'all sitting on my stove so I can, um, <laughs> the cord reaches my phone. All right, so I'm going to hang on to that can. Don't get rid of that. Might I'll take my fork out of there. And like I said, we would normally use two cans of cream of mushroom, but I only have one, so we're going to use cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. And that'll be fine together. Just as long as you have a cream of soup. I probably wouldn't use cream of onion, but um, cream of celery would probably be okay. Definitely cream of chicken is perfect because you're making a chicken pie. It's probably going to be even better. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to do here. We have two packs of chicken gravy. I'm going to put one pack in each soup can. And I'm going to put my fork back in here now. And I just do this so I can get the rest of the soup out. And I don't have to mess up another bowl or anything. Okay, so, and then I'm going to get some milk. And I'm going to put maybe a fourth of a can of milk. That might be a little more than fourth. Oops. I'm spilling milk on my towel. And then you just whisk it up. And this chicken pie is good to cook ahead of time and then get it out and let it sit for a little bit. That way it sets up. It's, when it first comes out, it's really runny. But if you let it sit out for a little bit and then maybe either heat, A, heat it back up or just, um, I don't know, just let it sit for a little bit, it sets up. I love it runny. I love it fresh out of the oven. But Bryant likes his uh, just a little bit more, it's not solid, but just, um, just a little bit more together. So I always try to make this ahead of time, but it's not happening much, much ahead of time today. All right, and then you just add that in. I'm telling you, y'all, this is just a dump and go. A dump and go. Now, I would go ahead at this point and stir. I don't like to do a lot of stirring when I put the peas and um, carrots in there because I don't want to break them up. I don't want to break the peas up. I kind of want to keep them as solid as I can. So I've drained these, the peas and carrots. Hmm. 
There was a bunch more in there. So I don't want to, I don't want to like stir it hard. I just want to incorporate the peas and carrots. And now it's a good time to add your salt and pepper. Salt. Love pepper in chicken pie or anything chicken related. I'm a pepper. I'm a pepper person. Of course, everybody knows me knows I'm a salt person. Love me some salt. And my blood pressure shows how much I love salt. Okay. So, let's add a little bit of cheese now. What do I do with my cheese? Oh, there it is. I'm just putting a handful in. There you go. And I'm waiting for my um, pie crust to thaw and I'll bring you back. Okay, so while we're waiting on the um, refrigerated dough to thaw out a little bit, I don't have to wait. That's one good thing about the frozen dough uh, pie crust that I don't have to wait for it to thaw out. Um, as you see, it comes in two, I get two of these, and usually, usually, one of them is cracked, and actually this one is cracked. So, I don't put the stuff in that one, I put it in the good one. The one that's cracked the least is the one I pour the stuff in. So, let's go ahead, and my tripod's acting up, so hopefully it won't. It's going to keep going. <laughs> Don't know what's wrong with my tripod. Okay, so let me just leave it up and we'll do this the best we can. I'll tell you what, we'll do it. I'll do it right here where you can kind of see and I don't have to, um, I don't have to lower it too much. Okay, so I'm going to take part of my, um, Um, my chicken pie because I still have another one to go and I'm going to pour that in there. <clears throat> now my oven's preheated. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one that's cracked and I'm going to start just kind of breaking it apart, just in pieces. And I'm going to lay those on the pie. I'm just going to make kind of a puzzle out of this. And this is because it needs a top. And you can't really reform this one. I mean, I guess you could let it thaw and form. But, um... You can break it up and just make it look kind of rustic looking. I know this may sound crazy to y'all, but it really works. And if you like crust, like, now my kids don't like a lot of crust, so they pull off some of the crust. But if you like a lot of crust, this gives you a lot of good little pieces to work with. And um, I happen to like the crust. And you just kind of cover up any chicken pie you see. Y'all, it is about to snow here. It's supposed to start snowing tomorrow night. 
And um, tonight's our Christmas parade, and I'm going to freeze, I, and I don't like being cold. Bryant is all about the Christmas parade. I don't know why that boy likes the Christmas parade, but he sure does. All right. I think that's about it. And so I've just got a couple pieces left, and I'm just going to throw them away. You probably could toast them up, put some cinnamon sugar on it, make something good. But I don't have time for that tonight. So here's my pie. I've just um, crumbled up the crust and placed on top. I'm going to go ahead and stick this one in so we can get one cooking um, in case we have to leave. But um, I'm still waiting on my other refrigerated dough to um, thaw out. And um, as cold as it is around here, I don't know that it will. Okay, so it's going in. Pie number one is going in. That is the frozen pie crust. So we are fixing to, um, as soon as this thaws out, I'm actually going to set it over here on top of the stove. It's warm over here. So I'm going to set that right there, let them thaw. And then we'll get it in the oven. Um, I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've taken that pie crust and I've got my pie dish. And I've just put the pie crust in here. And the fellas are in here cutting them some deer summer sausage. So we're going to take, oh, what do y'all, sorry. See, I told you I need a new tripod. It, it's loose and it won't, Brian's working on it. So I'm just taking the other pie crust. And I didn't save quite enough filling for this one. But... We'll still understand if we like which pie crust we like better. Okay, so I'm just going to unroll it. Let's see if I can turn it down just a little bit. Oh, he did fix it. I worked on it, didn't I? Yes, you did. Thank you, Dad. He fixed it a little too good. I can't move it at all. Hang on, you're shaking the table. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this on top. She thinks you're filming her. What'd you say? Nothing. He said something. Alright, I'm going to bring y'all over here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just folding the crust over, the two crusts together, kind of pinching them together. You sure that's fat? Is this fat? No, I think that's not fat. What is it? That's lower than this fat. I was thinking cheese. It is cheese. Now I'm just going around and crimping. I don't know if she told y'all, but we're expecting snow. I just told them. Wonder what I'll be cooking during the snow. Oh, Bryant's on a diet, y'all. Sure looks like it. I have not joined him. Oh, and I'm not going to until I'm motivated.
I'm not a good pie crimper. Normally I take a fork and just go around the edges, but I thought I'd make it pretty. There you go. Now I'm gonna take a knife and poke, or a fork, probably a fork. See my other one I didn't have to put holes because I crumbled it up. I'm just gonna put just a few. All right, it's going in. Hey guys, I am ready to go to the parade. I am bundled up, I got a turtleneck on. But now I'm getting the chicken pie out. I'm gonna get the first one out. This is the one that was made. <laughs> this one was made from the frozen pie crust that comes in the tin pans. And let me just say, well, let me get it out. Let me just say that out of convenience, it, of course, rates number one because I didn't have to wait for it to thaw. Um, and I didn't have to put it over into my own pie pan. Um, I just had to, um, good gracious, my ties are all messed up. Um, I just had to crumble the top on. So, this is the one I always use. I've never done it with the other one, so we're gonna get to see. And I can tell you, it is so pretty in there. <laughs> it looks like a real chicken pie. I mean, it looks so good. This one browns real evenly. It's not burnt anywhere. Um, let me show it to you. See, it's just real pretty. This is a mushroom, so don't freak out if you see that little dark spot. That's one of the mushrooms from the cream of mushroom. Um, so, it looks really, really good. Now, this is also, I think I got Walmart brand. Um, yes, I did. I got the Great Value brand. The lady I watched the other day, now, she took all the brands um, and... Um, my hair, good gracious. Um, and, and totally, like, she would squeeze them and, like, crunch them up to see which ones were flaky. Y'all go check her out. Um, I'll put her, I'll try to remember <laughs> to put her link below. But um, I'm not doing that. I'm just seeing which one of these we like better with our chicken pie. Because I can tell you now that if I'm in a hurry and I've got to make a quick dessert... And I know I don't have much time. I'm going to go this route every time. Just because when I buy the, the, the refrigerated, I know it's refrigerated dough. And that's where you find it. You find it with the eggs and butter and so forth in your grocery store. But when I get home, I don't stick it in my refrigerator, usually. Unless I know I'm going to use it that day. I just throw it in the freezer. And when I'm ready for it... I pull it out, let it sit and thaw, and then use it. So, convenience-wise, the frozen in the tin pans is by far the best for me. But, I'm not always in a hurry. And sometimes I just want things to be the best they can be. And so, um, we are going to see. I'm eating party mix. A friend of ours from our um, the church my husband pastor first um, he um, makes the world's best party mix and we call party mix trash he makes the best and we get it every Christmas he sends us some every Christmas and it is so good he like orders these special nuts I think who go with it oh my word I don't even put nuts in mine. And I don't like nuts in it. Except his. His is so good. I love it. 
Love it. Okay. It won't be long on the other one. It went in later than the first one. So it won't be long. Let me see what time it is. Okay. The parade starts at 7. So I think we'll have time to taste both of them and see which one we like. I'll bring you back when the other one comes out. Okay, y'all ready to see the other one? I think it's about ready to come out. It is so pretty. It makes a beautiful back row. it's not live but you got to see it on camera oh my goodness y'all this one is beautiful beautiful let me let you down here so you can see it okay so here is the refrigerated dough that I put on in my own pie pan and I crimped the edges and here was the frozen one that um, I took the other frozen shell and just crumbled it up on top kind of pieced it together so this is the frozen, this is the refrigerated, even though I did have it frozen. This one already appears like it might be a little bit flakier because you, I don't know if you can see those bubbles in there, but that means air is in there and that means flakiness. So it already looks like um, this one's going to be flakier. So, ready to taste test? Okay. I'm going to let y'all see. You're going to see what I mean by it being runny, and you need to let it set up. Y'all, you know, Bryant said, um, I said, did you fix my tripod? He says, I worked on it, didn't I? And that means, yes, I fixed it. That's his way of saying, yes, I fixed it. Yeah, he fixed it. That's broke. That ain't going back on. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so we're going to do the frozen one first. Now, you're going to see what I mean. It's pretty flaky, too, about it not setting up and being juicy. I mean, it just runs all over the place. Now, if I'd made this ahead of time, it would not do that. All right, let me get another spoon for the other one. La di da, la di da. Okay, so. Wow, this one is definitely flakier. Now, this is the one I didn't get quite as much filling in. Oh, my goodness. Definitely flakier. Okay. Well, I'm not... I'm, look, I'm going for my filling. Look, I guess I need to go for the pie crust. It's almost got a sweet flavor to it. I'm going back up. <laughs> Sorry. And the frown on my face is not because the food's bad. It's because I'm pushing on the tripod. So, the pie crust is really good. It's pretty crumbly and flaky. It's almost got a sweet flavor to it. So I'm going to eat it with my pie. It's 
so good. Even if everything's out of a can. It is so good. Okay. So here's the other one. Here's the refrigerated one. And see, I just flaked that off right there. Definitely flakier. It does not have that sweet taste. Now let's try a little bit of my filling with it. See which one we like. Hang on. Gotta try again. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to the other one. <laughs> I can't decide. It's because I got more filling with that one. Because this pie, I didn't have as much filling. Because I'd used it all in the first. Let me let me add a little bit. Now, here here's a fair bite. But it's really hot. You know, <coughs> ah, it was hot. Hang on. I had a Dr. Pepper. Where'd it go? They are so close. To me. With my chicken pie. I think I like the frozen better. But it's so close. It's so close that I would almost come down to it's whichever whichever one's cheaper and to tell you the truth I don't know I don't remember looking it is so close the frozen one does have like a sweet no it's not sweet it's just a hint of sweetness to it that I think actually enhances the flavor of the chicken pie but the refrigerated one is much flakier much flakier but yeah I can't tell that much difference I believe I would just it would either be um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't make a decision off a of taste I would make a decision off because they're so close in taste it would come the decision would come down to cost and convenience and um, and whichever one of those two is most important to me at the time Here, let me show them to you again. Here's the frozen. The one I said had just a hint of sweetness to it. Not much. But it just almost enhances the flavor. Here is the refrigerated one. That is much flakier. Look, look how flaky. Look. I don't know if you can see that, but much, much flakier. And to be fair, the first one had most of the filling um the second pie didn't get a lot of filling in it so um so yeah 
the taste is so close. I would not choose one based on taste. My choice would come down to convenience and price. I can't remember the price. Um, I'm assuming that the frozen one's probably cheaper. I don't know. I really don't know. So, there you have it. I have no answer. We'll see what the rest of the family says in just a little bit. It'll be just Isaac and Bryant because Caroline's not eating tonight. Tonight. Got the hiccups now. So, we're going to, when they get in, we're going to see what they say about this. And um, then we're going to head to the parade. Okay. Bryant's here. Look at him in his bib overalls. Ain't he oh, cute? Oh, and look. You broke my thing. Yeah, I know. It's okay. You know, <laughs> he said, I fixed it, didn't I? I worked on it, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so he's going to taste the um, frozen pie crust first. We're deciding which pie okay. crust we like best. Do what? Not a whole, whole lot. There. Here, use my fork. This is the frozen pie crust. I need something to drink. It's still hot. And it's good. I need to squat down here to her height. It's hot and good. Really good. Can you taste the sweet, taste just the pie crust. Here. And see if you can't taste a hint of sweetness. There's a slight sweetness. Okay, you ready for the other one? Mm-hmm. If you had smell of vision, it's really good. It does smell good. It tastes really good, dude. This is what she calls her chicken pot pie. They saw me make it. It's There's nothing homemade. Open can and dump. It's really, it's really hot. I bet if you watch Leslie in the camera, she's tasting with me. <laughs> Probably. It's a different, totally different texture. It's very flaky. I didn't even tell you to say that, y'all. Um, it's good. Either one is good, but I have to say I'm probably drawn more toward the pre-made pie crust that she breaks up and puts on top. That's two. That's two of us. Isaac's asleep. He probably is not going to wake up. He's been studying for the past few nights at college because they're in final exams. So we're just going to go with, for the chicken pie, we like the frozen one better. And it may be just because that's what we're used to. But um, I'm with him. This one's really flaky. And it's going to be delicious on something. And, I mean, it's really good on this chicken pie. And if she hadn't told you, um, prepare these pies for about an hour before you're ready to eat. So they sit up and the gravy mix has a, uh, a, a pretty uh, uh, firm consistency. That way, when you get it on your plate, it's not runny. And it, and it tastes more like grandma's pie. See? There you go. I told y'all I knew he of it. He likes me to cook it ahead of time. I just didn't have time today. I've been shopping. I am a connoisseur of cuisine. Well, this is not cu cuisine. This is open a can and put it together. <laughs> this is LMB Farms <laughs> cuisine. Okay, thank y'all for watching. So the uh, result is the frozen pie crust for our chicken pie. Um, but this is still just it, it's delicious, and um, it's probably really. I probably would prefer it like on apple pies and stuff like that. So, there you have it. Easy, quick chicken pie. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.